Hey friends, this is Rahul and you welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can properly configure AMP for WP Accelerated Mobile Pages plugin in your WordPress website for getting higher speed inside the mobile version of your posts and pages. And if you look inside the Google Webmaster tool, they have made it mandatory that you should have accelerated mobile pages for mobile users. So let's get started. And now, once you're logging into dashboard, you need to hover a plugin, click on add new and in the search bar, you need to type AMP and give enter. And now you'll find two kinds of search like AMP for WP accelerated mobile pages and number two AMP for WordPress. Out of these two, the best one is AMP for WP accelerated mobile pages. This plugin is created by Ahmad Khaloudi and this one is created by WordPress. This plugin support pages, posts and everything as like I'll show you the feature. So these are the features of this particular plugin and if you'll go for the second one, you'll find that uh, they're like it does not support home page, blog page index, nothing will support it by this particular plugin and even it's only work when the when your visitors comes via Google search and it does not redirect your mobile visitor directly for AMP pages. They're still working on the pages option only supported by them is post. So we are going to install this and click on install, click on activate and once the plugin get activated, you need to hover over this particular wizard site and open a new tab and now you'll see the design of your website is like normal now you type forward slash amp forward slash and give enter what is the page you want to view you just need to add forward slash amp forward slash and you'll get a new design which is like faster than ever like it's, it will get load faster than earlier and now let, let me open this particular blog you will see there's a navigation bar but if you'll download this particular amp there's no net navigation bar like that and even the search bar is quite beautiful now cancel this and you'll see like uh, even the share option is also working in my website and everything is looking beautiful it's looking quite beautiful than earlier one right now we'll go back and we'll do the setup of this so make sure you are checking the your website or pages by adding forward slash amp forward slash in the last now go back to your page and we'll set up this amp plugin properly and now you need to click on run installation wizard i'm a new user and click on start first upload the logo as like i already have my logo and click on save change this logo is only going to work for AMP pages and select everything like post pages, home page and category and tags. All the options will be in the AMP on mobile version only for mobile version AMP is working but in desktop version AMP won't be working because it's like desktop version is already faster than mobile version. Now click on save and here you need to paste your Google Analytics code. And once you are done, click on save change and in the design option, you have to choose a design, which kind of design you want to go for your website design one, like it will be in this format, design two, it will be in this format, design three, and it will be in this format and design four is swift. I believe this design is beautiful than any other design. So I'll click on save change and click on let's go. Now you'll be there on the setting part. You can directly reach this page by clicking on that I'm not a beginner and you'll be there on the setting part which is which will be there in the left side menu of your dashboard. Now I'll go back to my pages and it's like there you can see only go my my I'll refresh this. And now you can see my logo and there's like my navigation bar is there even menu bar will be coming here i haven't set any menu that's why there's no menu i'll cancel this and now i'll go back and we'll learn one by one each and every options how we can configure that properly i'll click on general and once you're inside the general part you don't have to do anything because we just now have configured general setting except one thing we have to learn first visit your website and say visit website and this is my website design right I'll go back and so many people that turn it on and click on save change and when you refresh that you'll get complete different layout of AMP mode this is the AMP mode layout so for mobile version even for laptop version the AMP layout will be on so make sure you're not turning it on turn it off and click on save change and refresh the page 
your design will come back now go back and click on page builder and inside page builder you'll not find anything because this page builder is already there inside your post if you'll go to any of the posts or pages if you'll scroll down you'll find amp page builder you need to click on start amp page builder and you can create your own page layout using these builders like column one or column two what kind of column do you want right column one and column two right here i want category and here i want accordion or like that i want button here so it will be like fully design or customize amp pages if you want you can use this particular builder or you can use there's like option for pre-built amp layout this is the premium version options if you are going for premium version you can check out the demo for this particular pre-built amp layout in the description box i have already added the link and it's like this is not free version now we'll go back and there we'll click on advertisement and you can even monetize your content using AMP for WP options. But this plugin does not support monetization. And now the inside the advertisement, you'll find options to optimize the visibility for increasing load. You need to turn it on and there's like where you want the ads. And for this option, I'm not teaching you where you want to add because you're quite smart to choose a proper placement for your ads. And once you're done, click on save change and click on SEO. And you need to enable meta tag receptions and you need to leave this portal options because you're not going to add any extra HTML meta tags for your website. And next option is SEO plugin integration. You need to choose one of the plugin like you are going for Yoast or you're choosing all in one plugin. Like what is the plugin you're using for search engine optimization? You have to select that. And here I'm using Yoast plugin. So I'll select that. And now I'll scroll down and I'll enable this one and this one both should be enabled and I believe author ICAV must be disabled because it's like the chances of getting duplicate content I have seen over the SEO Yoast plugin like if you are like I have a properly created tutorial on Yoast plugin if you want you can go ahead and watch that complete tutorial how you can configure properly Yoast inside a website and there I have taught you should not enable author archive there may be chances of duplicate content now i'll scroll down if you have two or three authors inside your website that's why i disable this and i'll click on save change and rest of the options are quite good so i'll click on save change and now move up and click on performance and you need to enable that minify amp pages and click on and now click on save change then click on analytics and inside the analytics what kind of analytics do you want you can enable that as like most of the people they're using google analytics enable that and add your google analytics code and once you're done click on save change now move on structure data click on that and inside the structure data you don't need to make any changes if in case if you're using a news article or something like that options is like getting change for you you need to change that option but the rest option are properly configured except you need to choose this one the default thumbnails for the video object if you have you are using a video for that you can use or upload an image which will be valid for all the videos you are using inside a website if in case you does not want to show the previous thumbnails for your video you can use your own something custom made logo for videos now i'll click on save change and next click on notification bar and if you want you can enable this and you click on save change i'll click on push notifications and now inside the push notification you will find one signal push notification options and now in the push not notification is basically used for subscribing your feed so i'll enable that and here you'll find app id you need to add app id of the post notification you can create your app id by going to onesignal.com and the like you go uh, this collect copy this one signal app id and paste in this area and now scroll down and like where you want subscriber i want and here on the top or you want here on the bottom you have both the options you can select both or you can select one so I'll enable both now and once you are done click on save change nothing else need to be configured in this and click on contact form and inside the contact form you can also enable contact form 7 support gravity form support for that you need to go for premium version the demo link is there in the description box you can try that 
so i'm not using a premium version as of now so i'll skip this and like once you have purchased that you need to enable that and just you can configure click on comments and what kind of comment you're using inside a website like i'm you are using wordpress comment discuss comment or facebook comment so i'm using wordpress comment so i'll enable that and number of comments should be there on one page nominal so let be to default one now scroll down click on save change and click on instant article and what is instant article if you are using facebook pages for promoting your website similarly like amp there like facebook have instant article for faster loading inside the facebook app so if you are using that you can enable this but i'm not using inside my website so i'll leave it like that and i'll click on save change and click on hide amp bulk tool and some of the category that you does not want google to show as amp like some of the premium products premium posts are there like that you does not want google to show as amp so you can select the category whatever you have and now scroll down click on save if you have selected any click on advanced setting and inside the advanced setting you have options to redirect all the visitors to amp pages for mobile version for that you can enable this for fastest experience and this option will say is change in point to question mark amp in in your post or pages after url when you type forward slash amp forward slash and you get 404 then you need to enable this as of now don't enable that now scroll down and inside enter html in the head body and footer for that you need to use amp validator you have to check whether you have configured amp inside a website properly or not and you have to get that html code body code and the footer code for that we are going to use this link and we'll go here and i'll paste here and now you should get pass whatever the url you are adding here you should get a pass so for that first i'll get my url and i'll copy and i'll paste in this area and i'll say paste and make sure you are choosing amp here and click on validate oh my god i'm getting fail and i'm getting a error a mandatory attributes lightning sign is missing in the html what is the error i'm getting that don't worry guys this is a normal error the people gets and the people does not know how to resolve that this is not a really a error we this is a amp validator and the people that are checking the normal website you should check your amp page for that you have to add amp in the last and now you have to check whether my amp is working properly or not so click on validate again and you will get pass right because so many people they face that error if it does not trust me you remove that amp click validate copy this particular code and paste in the google and you'll find that lot of people face that particular error like 29000 results are there based on this particular error and when you click on videos like no one yet have created such error now we'll go back and we'll remove the add amp there and click on validate and now here you have to copy all the codes which is there inside the head body and footer you have to separate all of them say comp control a control c and you have to go to your search bar and you have to type wordpad like you have to get a wordpad and paste there and now you have to find control f head forward slash head like this you have to find and uh, close that and click find this is the in tag for head right now from here till the top of the head i have to copy the code like from here till here i have cut the code like whatever the like head codes are there that need to be there inside this area and now again we have to enter the body tags and the footer tags first we'll find out the footer tags then we'll cut out the whole body part directly now for that i'll be there and now i'll type footer and you have to write only open bracket footer and you press next and you when the you press next you'll find footer here and like very few parts will be there in the footer you just need to copy that small part till the last footer ends like open bracket forward slash footer close 
bracket you have to cut that part and you'll see there's like no footer 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 got closed and you have copied that contained now again go back and paste inside the footer and now we have to get the body part for that we'll go back to our uh, document and we have to type control f again and it's like big bracket open bracket forward slash body you have to type and reach in the last and once you are there in the last you have to copy the whole that contained which is there inside the body till you see the la body tag on the top like you have to find where is the last body tag here is the body tag body class equals to body amp body design till head part we have to get that right so we'll start from bottom again and we'll cut that again we'll paste here and we'll click on save and we'll go back and we'll validate again whether everything is working fine or not yes everything is fine right and now scroll down and we have some more options need to be configured in the advanced option and add amp in the menu url enable that and next option is the category base remove in amp what is category base if you go to prima link setting and there you will find category base and the tag base they'll remove that but trust me i never believe removing any content from the url will be user friendly so never enable this never enable this and you have to skip this one also and you have to enable featured image from the content if in case there is a no featured image they'll import the image which is there present on the post or blog if in case you have not added featured image and skip this and click on save change now we'll move up and we'll click on the next option translation panel and inside translation panel everything is configured properly you don't have to change anything inside a website you just need to scroll down and click on save change and if you move up next option is the design option and inside design option nothing much need to be configured like color layout something quite easy so you can configure it by yourself if you need any help do let me know in the comment section and now we'll learn how you can configure menu inside a uh, amp pages so for that you have to hover over appearance and you have to click on menu and once you are in this area you have to click on create a new menu and uh, let's say amp menu and click on create menu and make sure you have selected amp here and whatever the options you want there in the menu you have to select that let's say i want my, my account and check out so you have to click on add to menu and it got added next option you have to select amp menu this will be there on the top part and similarly you can create a amp footer menu that will be different from the amp menu now we are creating a menu for amp next again you click on create new menu select some of the options and select this option and click on save menu and now this is going to come up when the amp page will be there for your visitors i hope you find this video useful if you have any question or query let me know in the comment section if you haven't clicked subscribe click on subscribe button for the more further updates thank you